Hey, what's up everyone, welcome back to Zforce Gaming. So first of all, before continuing, let me apologize you guys that I am really sorry for such a delayed video. So actually, I've been admitted to the MBBS classes and I'm becoming a medical doctor. So it's really, really hard to keep up with the studies and to pursue my uh, YouTube career at the same time. I really apologize for the delay in the videos and I will try to keep up and uh, I will try to make videos every fortnight uh, to get the channel going. So today the topic of my video is that my Corsair H100i V2, the water cooler, the radiator, died on me. So here's the water cooler, here's the Corsair H100i V2. As you can see that it's a, I think, 240mm radiator. So what happened, I don't know, uh, it's been like two years. Uh, continuous two years I am using this cooler and uh, suddenly it stopped working I mean uh, that I, how I noticed that uh, it, it's a really really you know confusing because I at first I didn't realize that it was a cooler I actually changed the thermal paste because I was getting a slightly higher temperature uh, like uh, on idle state uh, my computer temperature was like 25 or 20 8 celsius uh, with an ambient of 20 or 22 so it uh, started to rise gradually to 40s and 50s and i didn't really bother unless it started making noise the cpu fans because of the high temperature started to rotate very fast they started to make so much noise and uh, at that point i realized that there is something wrong so at first i changed the thermal paste and then no difference so i checked out this thing and here's what i noticed so uh, the pump is working fine and uh, there is no leakage in the whole area and whenever this is running i whenever i put it close to my ear i actually uh, hear the sound of the pump and the water flowing but the problem i'm facing right now is that you uh, what I noticed is that uh, this, the upper tube, so as you can see that here, the upper tube is the, uh, from, it takes the water to the radiator. Uh, so this thing takes the water from the pump and uh, to the radiator, and then the water flows through all of the radiator, and then this, the lower tube, takes the water back from the radiator to the pump and so you know, what I noticed that this tube the tube which takes the water from the pump to the radiator got very 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 hot as my temperatures on while gaming were more than 80 celsius uh, they were at 85 to 90 celsius uh, while gaming so and the, t uh, the CPU fans made a lot of noise so this tube got extremely hot and this tube, the lower tube, which takes the water from radiator to the pump, was cold. It was totally cold. It didn't even bother. So this was extremely hot and this was extremely cold. So what did I deduce from it? That uh, the water from the pump somehow flowed here. But I think there is some blockage here or while in the you can say the, in the radiator well uh, as a result the water is not going back from the radiator to the pump so this is the problem uh, in the radiator this is the reason why I, I am getting so much high temperatures so the other problem was that I bought it from a local vendor in Pakistan so uh, they gave me uh, they provided me with a one year warranty and uh, I contacted them and they refused to help me out so I contact Corsair because they say that they have a five-year warranty so I contacted them I told them I have this problem and uh, I don't know what to do now and the local vendor is not helping me out so if you if it's possible for you will you please help me out they asked me for the lot number and the serial number and whatever and the invoice from the merchant I purchased this and then my RMA was approved they asked me to ship this defective unit back to them so uh, actually they are providing me with two options 
actually the first option is that they are saying me that I should uh, ship this item, this faulty item back to them and they will inspect it and if there is some problem with the unit they will replace the unit and send it back to me and the other uh, uh, option they are sending me uh, they are telling me is that they are sending the replacement first and they will charge my credit card on it and in the meantime this will reach them and then they will check if there is some fault in it or not and if there is some fault then they will reverse the charge on the credit card so uh, I opted for the first option and I am sending this faulty unit to them first because at this time I am using a simple air cooler uh, from Cooler Master it's a Hyper A102 uh, I guess as you can see that that simple cooler thing going on well that's all for you uh, for now guys uh, just I just want your opinion that uh, it does your Corsair unit H100i or any of the Corsair radiator cure the same problems or not does it uh, pump uh, expire or stop working or whatever the reasons are I don't know but uh, uh, you're good you